Okay, now after you've gone back and forth and back and forth, oops, where are we? you've got a nice, neat, all your lines are filled. You see how we did it there? We went in every second one. Unless the, fat, the yarn was so pulled apart, then we went through every one. And so it goes, oops, goes from there before the, the hole and then all the way across the hole. So here is my hole. So now I'm putting this in from, the, from one end, from the side. And now I'm going to weave it back and forth just to the edge of it and back and forth until this is all, that's darning. That part of it is called darning. So it's, I've done it once, now I have to do the opposite ones. So if I, I caught one on the way up, I, I go over it on the way down. First I'll hook it in here at the side. Then if I went under, I'll go over. I go over and under. It might be easiest to do this with a crochet hook, but over and under, over and under. Over and got them mixed up here. I didn't do it right the first time. Okay, so there you have it, something like that. Now, naturally, my yarn is at this end. <laughs> that was silly. So I should have done that from this side. Okay. And then I can just take my yarn and pull it through. And I'm not going to make it double this time. I'm going to make it single there. Okay, so I'll pull that down. And I'll hook it through on the end. Oh, but I'm gonna, if I'm going to pull it with the thing, you could be doing this with the needle or you can do it with this. So I'm going to pull it from there. So I have to start over here. Okay. I have to turn it to the side.
See, now that is pretty covered. But I'm going to put in a few more rows. Okay, so I can't go in in the same place, you see, because I have to go over and under there, right? Works best if you put a your hand in it or put an egg in it or something. 